Hi everyone. Hi everyone and um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, welcome to our online edition of Citro Cafe. Uh, the goal is um, to bring people together who have an interest in creativity and um, cultural diversity. And the highlight of our cafe is um, sharing um, our stories and the connections um, we make. Today, our um, guests are Emma Stapleton and um, Yelida Power. We have um, invited uh, two incredible artists to um, perform for us. And um, they will also teach us to sing a song and uh, they will hang out with us later on for a Q&A. If you have questions, please write them in the comment box and uh, we'll try to answer to as many as possible. Um, the first um, artist to perform for us today is um, Emma Stapleton. Hello! Hi, Emma! <laughs> How are you? Yeah. Emma is a composer and vocalist from Dublin who has been immersed in music most of her life. Now she's currently focusing on writing songs uh, in response of the actual climate in Ireland um, that has resulted from the COVID-19. Her music takes influences from folk and uh, alternative sources, and she's deeply inspired by other artists on the Irish music scene. Um, Emma is relatively new in writing commercial songs as her previous composition uh, has been instrumental. Uh, and she hopes to bring positivity through her music in people's life, uh, especially now during this time of uh, highly uncertainty in the world. And uh, Emma will perform a song that she has wrote during this time of quarantine. So let's all enjoy uh, the music of Emma Stapleton. Thank you, Anka. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have a little song that I wrote um about the lockdown so i wrote it kind of at the start when we had just you know it had just been announced and everything was kind of all over the place and no one really knew what you know was happening really um so i've revised it a little bit at the end to make it a little bit more i suppose current um but it's so i have my little ukulele here so it's on the ukulele so i wanted to write a song that was had these kind of like i suppose more bleak themes about the lockdown but that was kind of still cute played on a nice little you know, nice melodic instrument. Um, so this song is called Living in Lockdown. Living in lockdown. It's a pretty crazy situation Half the world looks like a ghost town And I'm a little scared now People are screaming They don't know What's happening to them? We're all stuck inside, and while we make the most, it's a little scary now. Welcome to lockdown. There's a million things you could be doing. But instead you're holding on to the impending Doom inside your head Could be hiding in your latte Jump from there to your airways Show no mercy like a dead collector Don't you know I am the vector Welcome to 
living in lockdown. It's a pretty crazy situation. Half the world looks like a ghost town. It's a little scary now, but I think we're adjusting now. Emma, thank you so much. And thank you for the song with us. That was beautiful. I loved it. Um, for everyone who have just connected, we have listened to Emma Stapleton. And she will uh, be with us later on to help us learn a song. And also uh, she will chat with us at the Q&A. So please be connected. The next artist to perform is Yalida Power. There's a lot to say about Yalida. Yalida is an enthusiastic and dedicated music and um, piano choir teacher with a vast experience in teaching music. Alida, hi. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeli, you come from Dominican Republic and um, as a young student you participate in many Latin American piano contests uh, and master classes given by renowned international concert uh, players. You have performed on the Dominican National Theater, Dominican National Library, Liceo Conservatory Barcelona, there's a lot to say about you. You have been performing <laughs> in TV since the age of eight, um, on the national yeah. TV station in our country, theaters, national events in, with, alongside important uh, and famous musicians and artists. Um, I know you've been also taking ballet, jazz classes in uh, a prestigious dance academy in your country from... Um, I'm not as good anymore. <laughs> not to say, and I don't know if we have times, but what I would like to say <laughs> is um, that you have been teaching since you came in Dublin. You have been teaching uh, music in schools in Dublin and Kildare and work with uh, music institutions. And uh, you have also the piano studio for about two uh, and a half years. And uh, it's a center designed to teach music adapted to each individual style of learning, including people with special needs. Uh, and your methodology focuses on, on empowering people with expression techniques, mindfulness, uh, making people happy and um, helping them to find a way to communicate freely through music. And I think that's beautiful. So they were gonna, now we're going to listen to you performing at the piano as well. So I'm looking I'm going, I'm Yes, I'm going to play a short piece that I have been reading lately during the lockdown too. Oh, um, I don't get I don't get that much time for my own practice because I teach a lot um, and I have a family, so I don't I don't I don't get as much as I would love to. But I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna te teach. I'm gonna teach later. But I'm gonna play a song now that I want people to sing along. I think I think a lot of people will recognize it. I'm not gonna say the name. I'm just gonna play it and see if they can sing along. It's Please. a middle song. That's the only thing that I'm going to say. <laughs> Can you see me there? Yeah. Thank you. 
So I think people could recognize that one, and I hope everyone sang along to it because the sun is going to shine again for all of us. Um, really happy to be here. I think that now we're going to start with a. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you first a short video of what we are going to be doing next because I'm going to teach you a short little piece of a music that I put together actually two weeks ago in a, an online choir work, workshop that I was giving university students back in the Dominican Republic. It's an Italian song, but before I say the name of the song or anything, I would like you to watch this video to get an idea of the music and the movement that we're going to be working with today. <laughs> So that is the song that we're going to be that I'm going to be teaching you today. It's not going to be the full thing. It's not going to be the three voices because there are three different voices there. There is a male, two female voices, and a male voice. And we're, I'm only going to teach you today together with Emma, which is going to help me teach you this. Oh, we've lost Yelly. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Can you see me? Oh, yeah, the connection. Yeah, you can see me. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So, as I was saying, I tend to move to this side or to this side. Yeah. So, as I was saying, we're only going to learn the soprano voice today. And the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to do a warm up because we need to warm up those vocal cords. Well, Emma is a singing teacher and she'll help me with the vocal warm up. But first of all, I want to do a mindful breathing in order to get all of you here and now and to just to make you forget about anything else but what we're doing at the moment. So we're going to, I'm going to count to four. And when I count to four, you're going to breathe into your nose. You're going to keep the air inside, smile. And then in four, we're going to throw the air out again. Okay. So Emma, we're doing it together. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I count four. And we then I count four to clap to breathe in and four to breathe out. So four, four breathing in, four breathing out. Okay. So one, two, three, four breathe in, two, three, four, smile, two, three, four, and out. Two, two, three, four, and smile again. Two, three, four. If I can see the teeth, that'll be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I love I love seeing the teeth. Okay, we're going to do that again. So count four, breathe in by four, smile, breathe out by four, smile again. Okay? One, two, three, four, and in. Four, smile. Out. And smile again. That's it. Okay. Now, Emma. Yeah, so I'll do really, really, really quick. Um, vocal warm up with us. So the first thing I like to do, you can do it anywhere, you can do it while you're washing the dishes and um, you don't need a piano for this or anything. It's called sirens. So you take the word ring or hang, that NG sound at the end, the N, and you just go from the lowest note you can possibly sing all the way up to the highest and back down again. So I'll, I'll demonstrate. So you go Okay, and now we can try and do it together, see how it works. <laughs> Mm, yeah, very and nice, very happy. Pointing in, and everyone is sounding weird and getting embarrassed together because that's half of what's singing. <laughs> <in life. laughs> okay, so let's try it again. So three, four. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm that right. 
<laughs> no, that's perfect. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. It. Yeah, once more. Four, three, four. Mm. Yeah. We need to come back. Yeah, that's perfect. So we'll do one more. Um, but they're called lip rolls. So it's just going. Oh, yeah, I know. So we can do it on um, on a fifth. So and you can um, scoop from one note to the other and back down again. So like this. So let's try that all together. Okay. I just give everyone a tip. It's easier to do really pros if you go like this. You yeah. know, they they work for they work for me and they work for everyone I I've taught. Yeah. So really I'll do it like this. Okay. It, we're doing a scale up and down. Yeah, so right. just slide, you do it again? From note, slide from the bottom note up to the top note and back down again. Can you do one? And I'll yeah, I'll demonstrate right. again. So this is our first note. Okay. tingle in the front of your lips there yeah look. we're good to go very good so i think we're quite warm now our voices are warm so we're going to sing this first line i have it here um of bella ciao so bella ciao it's an italian very special italian song um like if we have italians as viewers they can actually com comment and say what exactly means this song to them i know that is very special um, but I don't know the whole story about the song. I just know that it means bel, bel means beautiful, and ciao means bye. So ciao, like bye, beautiful. And um, we're going to sing in Italian. So I'm going to explain how you're going to do that pronunciation. So the line that we're going to learn says, una mattina mi sono alzato. Okay? Una mattina mi sono alzato. Okay? So... I want Emma to repeat it to see if I'm explaining myself right, okay? So, will I do it again for you, Emma, or you think you're okay? Never yeah. know how to repeat it with me as well. So, una mattina mi sono alzato. Una mattina mi sono alzato. Very good, very good. Now, what comes next is, o bella ciao. O bella ciao. That's all you need to know now. Oh, bella ciao, because what it says is, oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. That's it. And if we do the whole line, do you think you can do that? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll do, do it first. first. I'll do it first. <laughs> okay. So, una mattina mi sono alzato. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Una mattina. Mi sono alzato, o oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Good, amazing. I hope that it's going amazing for everyone in their homes too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the only detail. So uh, the meaning of this is uh, one morning I got up, oh, beautiful, bye, oh, beautiful, bye, beautiful, bye, bye, bye. If I'm saying it, if I'm saying something that, like, if I'm not, some, if I'm saying something that is not here, be, feel free to correct my Italian because I'm not Italian. Um, I have little Italian. So now we're going to do the singing for that. And then we're going to put the, the lyrics with the melody. Okay. So our first note, it's going to be high because we're, I'm teaching the melody line. But you can always suit yourself and sing the same notes a little bit lower. And I'll do that too. Okay. So first note is... Una mattina mi sono alzato. Okay, Emma, do you think you can do that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so I'll count one, two, and you go. Ready? Yeah. One, two. Una mattina mi sono alzato. Okay, let me give you that first note again. 
Yeah. Can you, can you, can you hear it? Very good. Okay. So again, we're going to do it again. I'm going to sing it again and then you do it. We can't do it together because of the lag of the internet. Yeah. We would love to do it together, really. Us. If only. <laughs> Okay, I'll give you the notes. That's your notes. Lovely. Yeah, ready? Una mattina mi sono alzato. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. That's so nice. Okay, and now we're going to do the second part. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Okay, so. Same note for the second part. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Very high note, okay? Lovely. Do you think you can do that? We'll do it again. Uh, yeah. Play the note again. That'd be great. First note, yeah? Yeah. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. That's really nice. Can we do the whole thing? We can. Because then I'm going to teach you the whole bit. I'm going to do it and then you do it. Now, there's a, it's an important detail for people in their homes if they're repeating, if they're repeating um, this at home, you'll need to breathe. Okay. <laughs> in between the notes. <laughs> I'll tell you where, when you're singing it together, especially. So we're going to do. Una mattina. Breathing there, okay. Mi sono alzato. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Before the ciao, ciao, ciao again, we breathe, okay. Do you think you can do the whole line? Will I do the whole line again? Uh, yeah, you can do it again and then I'll, I'll repeat. One, two. Una matita, mi sono alzato. Very high notes. I'm actually a little bit lower than that. So I'm gonna <laughs> you, yes, you're gonna you're gonna sing that line and then I'm gonna repeat it in a lower at a lower range, an octave lower. Okay. Ready? I'll give you the notes. Ready? One. 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 Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Excellent. Okay, so for the people in their homes that find this quite high, we can do it lower. Una mattina mi sono alzato. Oh, bella ciao, bella. Same thing, okay? So now we're going to add movement to that. I love movement because music, um, it changes of melody, of rhythm, of beat. And movement is natural to us, so I love adding movement to everything. I love dancing myself. <laughs> and I created a little choreography for this. So the choreography goes like this. We move to this side. Una matina. And back. Mi sono alzato. And back. Okay? Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. And that's it. That's all the movement. Okay? Lovely. So... Yeah. So do you think you can do it? Singing and movement? I think so. I'll do it along. Yeah. I'll do the movement along while you sing first. Okay. One, two. Una matina mi sono alzato. Bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Okay. One, two, three. Ready? Okay. Go. That's it. Una matina mi sono alzato. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Excellent. Very good, student. I'll take it to my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Emma. So that's it. I just wanted to give you a short introduction of a singing, a group singing a experience. A, because singing is actually amazing for your well-being. You know, it's not only for your physical uh, and your, you know, your ear, your voice. It's also very good for your well-being. And I just wanted to give that little bit of a taste of it. Yeah. So we're, yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you, Emma and Yelly. That was so much fun. I was singing too. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> of course. <laughs> and um, 
we are here also to talk about the benefits of learning music. And uh, I know there's so many benefits, and I don't think we're going to have enough time to talk about all of them. But um, uh, I know art has so many benefits in our lives, and I think people and everyone could feel it, especially now uh, in this time of lockdown. Um, I know in my art studio, uh, the space I created for people to come and connect from different cultural backgrounds, uh, my students, they, they came to me and they say, Anka, through your painting classes, now I can see more color. I can't believe I couldn't see the color in my life, like so many tonalities and various tonalities that exist. Now I walk fully awake and uh, I'm looking to all those tonalities that they surround me. Can you tell me um, some benefits that you've seen in your students' life, people who walked into your studio, and um, to share their stories? Like, they walked in the studio, what happened after? How did the music impact their life? Uh, yeah, if you'd like to share a story, maybe if you know. Yes. Um, benefits, specific benefits that I've seen, like there's so much uh, scientific proof of playing the piano gives you, like makes you more creative, more, in, not more, more creative and, and, and better at numbers, at uh, vocabulary, uh, communication and stuff like that. But I don't want to be very scientific. I want to tell you the, what I've seen in my students. Well, I've seen uh, like a lot of coordination happening. You know, I see people that the first time they come to my studio, they they're, they have their hands are are not coordinated together, and then after a couple of months they they are, you know, or they have a handshake, and after a couple of months, sessions they stop having that handshake because they they control is that neuronal um, connection that they get. Another big one that I see is the emotional management. You know, I I teach music, but I also teach interpretation, and you need to know how to get those feelings, how to interpret those pieces that were written by somebody and that they felt and they wanted to feel what they feel. So when you learn how to feel, you actually feel yourself. <laughs> so there's no way that you cannot feel. So people connect with themselves better and become much better communicators. The connection between me and them gets really, really close. And I see how they become like, from being extremely shy, insecure or introverted very outgoing very communicative and i that emotion has a big impact on them yeah. then like of course performing is you know one of the very big big things like either you if you, if you don't like performing everyone has to perform in life and that's one of the biggest advantage and i see that change when they first come to my studio they they're very shy and you know they, they they're very afraid of them talking and then after you Month, they, they, feel, they feel confident. So there's so many. There's so many. I know that's why I said it's so hard to you know to bring yeah. everything and talk about all of them. Um, I know there are also so many challenges now. You know, like teaching online and uh, one of them internet connection, of course, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and also technology and learning different uh, programs. But Emma. How is to, to teach uh, an instrument or voice online? Uh, how do you find it, the challenges that you encountered? Yeah, so I've noticed, I mean, things like technique kind of go out the window. It's impossible to teach like specific, really, you know, intricate technique, especially with something like voice. You can't see exactly what they're doing. Um, so yeah. you need to work more on, I suppose, and build up songs and things like that without getting that. That's such a positive thing. Um, it's, you know, it's made it, so much more accessible to a lot of people who couldn't get lessons previously. And um, we had, I work in a music school, I'm an admin, and we had an inquiry from someone who used to um, come to lessons with us when they lived in Dublin, but now they've moved away. And they said, now that you're doing lessons online, can I go back to my teacher and get more lessons? And um, so those kind of challenges have the plus side, you know, they have a, there's a flip side where actually it means it can connect more people all over the world, um, which is amazing, you know. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm afraid we have no much time to, to chat more, which I would love to, and to find out more about your life stories, creative uh, journeys and everything. Um, thank you to everyone for uh, tuning in. And uh, you'll find the links to the artist, the social media in the comments. And if you'd like to attend the next uh, cafe, we'll, um, you'll find updates on the Mother Tongue Festival and Ruaret Facebook and Instagram page. I would just like to thank you, thank the people at home, and thank Rara and Joyce. She is backstage.
And uh, please stay connected and stay inspired. And thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye